down here today for the First Amendment audit of the Lockport City Police, but to get y'all a view who are not from this area why they call it Lockport. Got this huge lock for the Erie Canal, and uh, you can see how high the water is on one side versus what they drop it down to here. two separate locks to take it down all the way to get you up to the next level here down here at Rogue Nation and uh, just to give you y'all an idea from the Erie County family who aren't from Erie County and haven't seen the uh, Lockport area That's why they call it Lockport we got a one heck of a big lock here for the Erie Canal so, let's go check out that police station. This is the top of the lock over here in the police department. Right over here. We'll head over there now. Got the fire department here right next to the uh, police department. This is the Lockport, New York police audit. We'll check out the police cars here and see what we got. Looks like they haven't got far to go. Check that out while we're here. A little action going on down here. Yeah, they didn't have fire to go from the fire department to come, come to this call. Karen down there wants to know why we're recording the first. Bad 
they did like the whole scene here, I think. Ooh, that's a sharp looking car right there. They got the locks right on the police car. City of Lockport, New York. Not too much. How you doing? Oh yeah, it's just it's a medical thing, you know. Yeah, we're we're not getting her. We're getting the people that's interacting with her. Are they, is there an issue with people that are interacting with her? No, but they're public servants on the public dollar, so we want to make sure that they're doing everything proper and stuff like that. Yeah. That's officer wants to know what's going on. With all the gang, with all them tats. They didn't have to drive down here and come to this one. Yeah, I wonder why they brought the fire truck down here. There's something that the ambulance couldn't do that the fire truck can. Yeah. So, you know how you guys were yelling, she's having cardiac arrest, she's having cardiac arrest? Who was yelling that? You guys were? No, not us. Video. Don't pause the video yet. No, there's no pause. Pause it. Keep, keep the video going. No, none of us were yelling anything. No. But, yeah. Well, that's what the EMT said that you guys were yelling. She's in a cardiac arrest. No. Cardiac arrest. Definitely not. No? Okay. Well, she's not in cardiac arrest. If that's. Oh no. We're, no. 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 We, we're, again, we're not here for her. So whatever's happening to her, we don't need oh, to know. So you guys are just care. kind of being in the scene, then. Huh? You guys are just staying. Yeah, in we're the just scene press. Then? Well, this is at the scene. Yeah, we're on the public sidewalk. You press? Yeah, we're yeah. press. So you work for Activism uh, News Network. Was that? Card? I would, yeah. Excellent. Uh, you guys can go on my report. Do you have one also? I do. Where are you guys out of? Uh, I don't answer this kind of question. But... You guys don't answer questions about your business? No, like your three percenter tattoo, it's my right not to answer questions I don't want to. Right, you're three percenter, right? That's what you I served in the Marine Corps, I served my country. So right, yeah. so three percent. Thank, thank you for your service, by the way. You know, Absolutely, 100%. Right. Thank you for your service. Well, so, right not to answer questions. Thank you. Hey, guys. So the lady of the EMT said we we yelled uh, cardiac arrest trying to get us to get in trouble or something. I guess. Definitely nobody. Died. I didn't hear anybody yell that. And we got here before most of these. Just about as most of these people did. I don't. I didn't remember hearing anybody yell that or say that. It's hard to say nowadays. It, they're handing the business cards around like, you guys know these guys? <laughs> right, I, don't I know you guys are going to be mad that we're giving them cards down here, but as you can see, the card I gave them all, it says AEC Press. I have a hard time finding out what that even means if they don't do some serious research. Oh, mine says majorly awesome on it, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's just auditing Erie County down here in Rogue Nation, getting a little footage down here in Lockport, New York. I'm popular... On popular demand, I've heard uh, stories from some of the Erie County fam saying that uh, Lockport can get pretty totalitarian and tyrannical down here. So we're down here, check them out, see, see how they do with the press out here.
know if it's too hot down here for this lady. Maybe she had too much to drink. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, 110%, it's not cardiac arrest. The right. cops have come over here to remind us that it's not, nobody's under cardiac arrest. But, uh, now that this lady's in, I'm going to slip in there and see if we can listen to them a little bit more down here on this public sidewalk. Not too much. Now, this is a pretty sweet looking cruiser this guy's cruising out on, but let's go take a look at that police station. Pretty good, just working on a little story down here. Oh, alright, nice. Good for you. Be safe. You got it. Oh, sweet, look at that. They got a drive-in garage down there for the police cars. They cruise in right down below. Got the undercovers out here. So, I was wondering why we didn't see any police cruisers out here in the parking lot. It looks like they keep them all down below in a parking garage. A little emergency stuff in there. This one's a vest. Back of the car where nobody wants to be. Getting arrested end up in the back of the car or nothing. must be all their under cover units. Can you get in here? Huh? Can we get in here or no? Yeah, there's, there's nothing in there. Yeah, it's real small. The guys, hey, they got you a bike in there. Yeah, the guy's pretty poor. This is the police department on the inside here. Need help in the city? Call the Larkport City Police. Hello. Oh. How's How you going? Can I get an officer complaint form and a FOIL request form? Freedom of Information Act? Freedom of Information Law? What do you want? An officer complaint form? Yeah. I don't know if we have those. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Good job. Protect and serve stone there. Oh, that's a microphone or like a spray if you're standing here or <laughs> something. Small little office in here.
request is online, New York State, have you ever done one before? Yeah, I've done them. I, there's no form here available to fill out. But in, on, in paper. I'm waiting for my, I just wanted to talk, I'm waiting for my lieutenant to call me. All right. Okay? I just didn't want you to think I wasn't. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm working on a story with the press, and I don't okay. want just make sure we get can we to be able to get a form, take home. That's all. Okay. Looking for an officer, officer complaint form and a FOIL request form. I guess a little box there is where the police put their lunch through so they can go to the refrigerator. A little Hannibal Lecter box. the sound of that you got to talk to a lieutenant to get an officer complaint form we've heard that before we've heard that that's not really policy and it's more of a makeshift policy to make sure complaints don't get in so we'll talk to the lieutenant about it and we'll see what uh comes of that i don't know if he's gonna come to his window or come up behind me here but we'll wait a few more minutes and see what he's got to say what they do right i'm looking to get a hold of an officer complaint form um, I would like to fill the form, take it home, fill the form out, and then come back with it, if that'd be all right. That's not how our forms work. I'm the supervisor. What is, so it, what you is your name? With me. What is your name and badge number? Forty-four. Here's my card. So there's no form to take home? Take home? Yeah. No. There's so, a form that you would complete here. I mean, I'll give you a form to take home, but it's not a valid form unless it's done with me. So, a yeah, I'd like to, I'd like one of those forms to take home if that'd be all right, and also a FOIL request form. FOIL request go to the city clerk. They have to get the, they have the city clerk. They have to go to the city clerk window Monday through Friday. It goes through uh, corporation council and council member Paul. So in order to FOIL, say I want a body cam footage or police cam, all, the, the, the all that has to be done at the courthouse. No, right here. All right. Now, the, the, the city clerk. All right. It's right inside this building Monday through Friday. You go right to that desk and you explain them what you want to FOIL, and they'll give you all the appropriate paperwork for you to fill out for that FOIL request. All right. Can I get one of those forms to take home? I don't have FOIL request forms. No, I'm talking about the officer complaint form. Maybe there's not even a complaint. Maybe this is more or less just to find out to make sure I can get one, take it home, fill it out if I wanted to, spell check stuff, not do it in front of a police. Why will, why will you not tell me what my officer did? Why are you withholding that from me? Well, as, as the no. officer's supervisor, 
I would like to know what my officer did that you're alleging that he did. As I, as I just did tell you, maybe there isn't even a, a complaint on a Pacific officer. Maybe I just want to find out if the forms are readily available. Because the sometimes... Forms aren't available. If you just want a form because you're curious about how we operate, that's fine. But you can foil that too. So you don't want to give me the form then? It has nothing to do with wants or not give to you, but there's a process. Well, don't you think that's a little tilted? I mean, I've been to other police stations where I found that to be tilted that uh, a person say they want to fill out a complaint about an officer. They got to come down here with an officer in front of an officer and fill it out. They might be intimidated by that, but you you have to physically sign this form. Oh, I have, I have no doubt, no sense. doubt. But so I'm sure they could it. fill it out and then bring it back, talk to you about it, and then sign it and be out quick. How, how are you going to know when I'm here? Well, there's a loop. In order to come back and talk to me about it. You're saying there's not a supervisor on at all times? There is, but I'm the supervisor here when it occurred. So it would go through me. But what if an incident happened yesterday and you weren't here yesterday at a certain time he was there? I mean, like, we'll it's still got to be. With that supervisor. So the supervisor that you've got to put a complaint in it happens with the per I, lieutenant I that's on duty only? I don't understand why you're here to make a complaint against an officer of mine, but you won't tell me what. what I didn't say I was here to make a complaint. I was here to collect a form, okay, an so officer complaint form. form. Okay. I'll be back with you for a and then and a FOIL request form. No, FOIL request goes to the city clerk. I don't have access to those forms. The police department has nothing to do with FOIL requests. I well, told you. Why you why are you getting clerk. aggravated with me? You're getting a little short. Because I've explained this to you, and you're just here to push buttons. That's the whole purpose of this. I'm here to ask for a form. I, you could have just gave me a I form. I told you I'm going to get you your form, and then you said, and I want a FOIL request form. And I've already explained to you exactly how to get that FOIL request form, and you know I've already explained that. You're right. just trying to push buttons for your film here. All right, Erie County okay, fam. So this is the on, this is the professionalism that they got down here from a supervisor, lieutenant. You guys said they were a little tyrannical down here, and you, I can see it right now. He does not want to be cordial and help. He wants to be authoritarianism and tell me what, what's going to happen, when it's going to happen. He definitely thinks he works for himself and we're his constituents, but it is truly the other way around. That's so the police are public servants. They work for us, and a little more professionalism would go a long ways. I just want to state that uh, a little professionalism would go a long ways for you police officers because all the civil unrest that's going on, I'm just simply asking for a form. And maybe you don't want to give it. Maybe you think that I'm going to put a complaint in. You're annoyed. We can see it in your face, and the Erie County fam's going to see it. In. I want you to put the complaint in. The fact is, is you're not here to do that. You're here to play these games. No, I'm here to get a form. Do you, do you realize who you work for? You work for the public. Mm -hmm. Is it a is it a big of chore for you to work for the public? I, I have things to go help the public with right now. This is not that. Well, your desk clerk could have gave me this sheet. No, of the paper. Desk clerk is not a supervisor and doesn't have that form. All right. Well, you're gonna be on uh, the you're gonna be on a, a channel here. You're gonna be in the ad, and you're gonna look 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 the part that you're playing. Very unprofessional. Very rude. And this is the kind of behavior that puts police on the earn the hate thing so I mean I've been told to come down here and take a look at this police department and here I am and uh, you are a supervisor you should have been a lot more cordial a lot more professional I explained everything you wanted but you wanted to keep pushing it past that because you're trying to get exactly this this is what you're why, would you, today, why would you give it to me why would you give it to me why wouldn't you give me your professional best behavior no, you might as well get back to work and you know ag be aggravated by different public is there people else I can help you with? yeah Turn your go go up to the chief's office. Turn your badge and your gun in because you're very unprofessional. You could help me out with that. Have a good day. You too, sir. Try to try a little more professionalism. Go a long way. That's the mentality down here. That's the mentality down here. They think they work for themselves. They're annoyed of me asking questions about me asking for a form. All I wanted was an officer complaint form to take home to be able to fill out on my own to prove that you can take them home because when they say you got to fill them out in the office with the officer in front of the officer some people might be intimidated I tried to explain this to him I was very cordial nobody's seen me asking him stupid questions but he wants to act like 
I'm a big inconvenience. All right, so there you guys have it. That was Lockport supervisor, how he wanted to handle himself today. And he knows he's on video and he knows that I'm here to get a reaction. So, quote unquote, I'm not here for reaction. I'm here to find some professional, courteous police officers. And uh, that lieutenant didn't go very far making the city of Lockport look very good. So you guys, I'll see you in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. So that's the police department down here in uh, Lockport, New York. Um, I was told that these guys are pretty rough and uh, that lieutenant didn't let down or didn't, didn't uh, disappoint to make me believe that these people are right when they say these guys are assholes at some point just because it didn't fit his narrative and what he liked to see or what he wanted to do down here. He didn't want to give me a form. He wanted to know what officer. He wants to to make sure that complaint never gets in. It doesn't matter. If I want just the form, we can get the form. You know, tell me to go down to the cl t clerk's office and foil the form. You know, I'll head down to the clerk's office and foil his salary. Find out how much he makes to be an asshole to the people in the public. Guys, I'm, I'm going to leave the number here in the police department here in the city mayor's uh, number. You guys can let him know what you guys think about a lieutenant that wants to act like his shit don't stink. He decides what's official business and who wants to do what and what's what. I mean, they may not like that we come down here and able to work on a store, but nonetheless, we ain't doing nothing illegal. We're just down here to request and find out what's going on and uh, hold accountable. Checks and balances is a beautiful thing about this country. There's no reason we shouldn't be able to have checks and balances around here. Let's see where this guy's going. Who's that? 26th.